Athletes, welcome back. We're changing it up on you a little bit and we are starting a how-to series to answer questions or just give you some points of performance on movements that you may have questions about and you either don't have access to a coach or a gym or maybe it's too intimidating going to the gym. So we got your back. We want you guys to be interactive with this and give us feedback on movements you would like to see and questions that you have on particular movements. Today, we've got push-ups. Now, push-ups can seem like a very simple movement, but it's also very frustrating when people can do them really, really well and you may be struggling with those. So we're gonna talk about some important points of performance that we wanna go over, and even some tips and tricks that are gonna help you along your way to get better at push-ups. So a couple things that we wanna go over first is I've got Noah with me. So Noah's just gonna give us a couple reps on the floor. We're gonna go a three-quarter view so the camera can see. And with this, we keep a nice solid plank position at the top of the push-up. He's gonna go down, making contact with his chest in the floor. A common mistake that you'll see people make is, is that they'll arch their hips way up high, and then they'll just get their chest down to the floor and come up. Go ahead and relax for you, Noah. Ideally, we're looking at chest and quads making contact with the floor. If you look at standardized, if you ever see it as a competitive movement, that's usually what's gonna be there. Now, a couple of things that we wanna talk about in addition to that plank position. A mistake that people will make is, is when they come down with these hands, if they're not very strong in their upper body, we tend to go into a guillotine press position. So those elbows come way out here and we're able to do push-ups like this, but at the sacrifice of grinding off our rotator cuff, which is awful. So what we wanna think about doing is, is that when we come down, we wanna make the letter A. So when those hands come down, we go to the floor. If you look at my arms, I'm making the shape of an A. I'm not making an I and I'm not making a T. So always make sure that you're giving me that A. The next thing that we're gonna think about doing is, is if I get Noah back down to the floor, we have options that we can work on. Now your most basic of basic is, is that we can do a knee push up. So he's gonna drop his knees to the floor and he's gonna press up and then back down and press up and back down and relax. Now the knee push up is a good introduction to that upper body pressing. I don't like this as a movement substitution only because as soon as I add Noah's legs back to this, he's back where he was and it's gonna make this just as difficult. So from here, what I can do is I can have Noah get and stand up. He's gonna go to the box and let's say that we don't have a rig, but we have a surface that we can elevate ourselves on. This could be a retaining wall behind the house. It could be a box. It could be a chair that's stable to hold our body weight. He's gonna stance himself out. And what Noah's gonna do is his feet go back so that when he comes down to that box, he's gonna make contact with his sternum in the box and then go right back up. If we feel contact in the upper chest, we're getting back into that guillotine press. So we wanna scoot those feet forward slightly. Go ahead and relax. We can change the height of this box. However, if we've got access to a rig and a barbell, we can get more exact with this. So what we're gonna do now is, is that we've got our barbell set up here and then I'll step out for just a second for me, Noah. One thing I always wanna stress is that when we do this, we always do it towards the rig. If I was to come in and set this up, and this would be, you would think this is common knowledge, but if you're like hypoxic and you can't think because you're in a workout and you're trying to get all the air you can, you may come in from this side. This is wrong and the reason reason is, is that barbell can slip off the rig and nobody's got time for that. So what we're gonna do is, is that Noah's just gonna come in and demo a couple reps here. Same positioning that we had with the box, but now what we can do is, is we can adjust that height incrementally. So he's gonna pay attention to what number he's got this rig on, go ahead and relax. And then as the weeks go by, this gets easier, we can move down to a lower number. Now the next thing that we can do is that we can go over here and we can get into a banded assisted push-up. So what we have are is that we've got T handles here. I don't like using J cups because they will cut the band and it'll ruin your band. So if you've got a rounded object that you can use there, perfect. Noah's gonna go ahead and get down into a push-up position with that band across his hips, waist area. From here, you can see that he's got assistance at the bottom. He's gonna press up and then back down. We can do the same setup here. The lower we move the band or the, the lower band tension that we use, the easier it's gonna make the movement. Now, if all of this is too difficult and you're like, I'm never gonna be good at push-ups, this is not a movement for me, that is not true. I'm gonna have Noah grab a green plate for us and then he's gonna bring it out to the floor. And a fantastic substitution here is gonna be your floor plate press. 
Don't knock it till you tried it because this is really gonna get you to engage those triceps and that chest, whereas before you might just be cranking off of that rotator cuff and that guillotine press. So we go down from here. Notice that the plate is not gonna make contact with Noah's chest, but his elbows will make contact with the floor. He's gonna press up and then back down. And I'm gonna have Noah just go through some reps here while I'm talking about this. We're keeping the same position of bringing those hands down in line with the sternum, and then we're pressing back, and we almost have a little bit of a J path with the way that those hands are going. How do those feel, Noah? Uh, getting pretty bad. I'm getting pretty bad, so go ahead and relax. So if you guys are working on your push-up strength or accessory, I'm telling you this plate floor press is where it's at. So that's gonna cover it today for push-ups. If there's any questions that you have about this movement that we didn't cover, please throw those in the comments below. And also any other suggestions for any movements that you would like to see us do. Thank you so much. And as always, be good, be kind, and join us again for another great day of fitness.